Okay. It is Olivia's first birthday today. And we're going to try to one take this. All right. So when Anna was pregnant, right? Everyone kept telling us, everyone kept telling us like, oh my God, it's going to be so hard. Oh, you better sleep now. You're going to see la di da di da And I was, I was talking to Anna about this and I was telling her like, whenever someone tells me how physically hard something's going to be, I kind of get like a little excited about it because I want to see like, okay, they're telling me this from their experience, right? So I want to see where do I stand? Like I'm, I basically think like, mm, I feel like I'm tougher than you. I don't know. I just get excited about it. So I was actually kind of looking forward and seeing just how rad it is with a newborn. Everyone talks about how bad it is. How bad, so bad, so bad. And I wanted to see like, how bad actually is it? Let me tell you something. It's that bad. <laughs> it is absolutely that bad. And like we, I didn't, there was so many times where like you barely slept. Uh, Anna and I slept like in shifts, like, and then Anna had it worse because this, this kid was like, like a clock, like an alarm clock. Every two hours, boom, had to eat, boom, had to eat every two hours. You can set your clock on this girl. Look at her, wide awake and hungry. Anna fed her at 12, 12 midnight, 2.30 on the dot. She wakes up, like, I want more. Look at her. She's hungry. She's hungry. But in that little like time period, like her first like the first six weeks for sure, right? But I want to see it was somewhere along like week one or two. I don't know. I don't know. Sometime, right? Week two or three. There was a night where like, okay, you're already sleep deprived, right? You're already like not sleeping. And there was one night in particular where this little girl was not having it. And like, so all day we didn't really sleep. And then all night we did not sleep. Like we just did not sleep all night because she was just on a good one, dude. And I remember like thinking like you wake up the, like the next morning comes up. You didn't wake up, you just been up. And then you go through the whole day with like little naps and whatnot. And I was like, the nighttime came, right? And I was like, oh my God, like, that was crazy. At least, like, I mean, she can't do that again, you know? Like, like that's the worst that could happen. And she did it again. Like, the second night, again, she was not having it, refused to let us sleep. And it was, like, two full nights, or like, two, basically, 48 hours of zero, almost zero sleep. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, like, I... I, it's hard to describe like the feeling like there's no way we can do it again and you did it again like there's no way that you can pop i don't know it's like 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 working out or exercising or, or or walking up a big hill and you're like there's no way that you can do it but you have to you know what i'm saying like they don't they don't give you a choice dude you have to do it um and yeah dude that was like one of the craziest times of like how tired we were with olivia but um i mean look at her she's a champ She's always been um, rowdy <laughs> from like day one. She has been rowdy, but it, honestly, one of the best things that I've ever gone through this whole first year, that first like 12 weeks, because it was six weeks of quarantine, because right when she was born, it was um, quarantine. And then afterwards, it was six weeks of, I think she farted. Uh, afterwards, it was six weeks of my baby bonding. So I had 12 weeks of just staying at home. No one came over. That was another thing, dude. Like, no one helped. Not like that's a bad thing, but like literally, it was quarantine. So no one can come over. So we never had like someone like, oh, let me watch her while you guys sleep or anything. Like, no, 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 nothing. It was me and Anna against the world. <laughs> and uh, it was it was fun, dude. But I mean, those were the good days. Just we would sleep on the we pulled out the couch like our, our couch is a has a pull out bed. And um, we would just pull it out because we would just be like, well, we don't even sleep in the room. We just sleep out here anyways. Like, let's just sleep out here and we would watch bones like i think we went through bones like start to finish probably twice and just all day like you would wake up like okay let's start a day kind of wake up and then we would just watch bones and watch olivia and just you know figure it out figure out here's a baby figure it out 
So yeah, good times. Happy birthday. And uh, that's all I got. Say bye, Olivia. Say bye. Yes.